Hello and welcome to another video. This is for his Retro 81. And um, before I get going, getting slapped all around the place by this game, uh, which is what is definitely going to happen, um, because I haven't played this game in nigh on. I would say the last time I played this game was like 2002, maybe. So we're probably talking like, I don't know. Minimum of 19 years since I played this game. Uh, so, my good YouTube friend Gold Payne uh, recently tackled his favourite game of all time and uh, invited video responses. Now, I have talked, I think, quite a lot about Ghouls and Ghosts on previous videos and, well, largely vlogs, I would imagine. Um, I'm confused as to why this says it's by IRM actually. That's, a, that's an interesting wrinkle in um, in licensing and such like. So, I own this uh, practically on the Commodore 64. Um, I own it as part of a tape set called the Platinum Collection, which was all Capcom games, I believe. Uh, I think it had Strider, Ghouls and Ghosts, LED Storm and Forgotten Worlds on it, all of which are excellent games, uh, and the Commodore 64 version is pretty decent actually. Um, I'm probably yelling, I apologise for that, um, but the emulator I'm using to play this, as I don't have a Commodore 64 to hand, uh, or even if I did a camera that would shoot it in any way, any way a um, sensible and appreciable manner, um, <laughs> so this is the emulator this is running in which is vice vice for anybody who's um interested um which i found to be the most reliable commodore 64 emulator um because i do dip into playing um playing these games intermittently when i miss them um I hope to eventually have one of my real C64s here and be able to play some of the cassette games, but um, I don't know whether that, well that's probably not that isn't going to be feasible in this place because there just isn't enough space. Um, anybody who has had a Commodore 64 knows that uh, keyboard set is a beast, and trying to find space for all of that on top of other systems is just not going to happen in this place so it will probably be a you know next place I'm in kind of deal um, <sighs> I'm stalling for the inevitable misery that is about to happen to me because uh, yeah I, I'm not good at this version anymore I'm not surprised uh, but I'm gonna stop making excuses and and get to dying um, so I will say this is my this is the version I am the most nostalgic for of this game uh, but the version that is my favorite is the uh, Sega Mega Drive version um, if you're watching in the States and you come from the States as opposed to like you're watching from the States but you moved to the States at some point uh, the Mega Drive is the everywhere else that's not the, not the States name for the Genesis now I believe the reason that that's the case is that there was already an existing piece of kit called the Mega Drive Oh, that is just swinish, that bit. Um, you can't really do anything about that bird, or I've been trying to, I mean, you can't. But I believe that there was some kind of legal shenanigans that meant that they had to call it something else in the States. I've never quite fully got to the bottom of that myself. Um, but, but yeah, so... Um, that's my favourite version of it, and that's the version I play the most. Uh, I also have this on uh, the PC Engine and I have it on uh, the Master System. Uh, I I would say like my least favourite version is the PC Engine version. It's ferociously difficult and even by Ghouls and Ghosts standards it's really hard. Whew. This is tricky. It's tricky lads. It's tricky. But we're through. I'm doing a lot better now ironically having said that I was gonna you know blow chunks left right and centre. Um, so yeah, um... <laughs> oh man! 
He says as he walks straight into the face of some horrible thing spinning through the air. Um, so my... Oh man, my gameplay is still pretty atrocious anyway, let's be honest. Um, there, there was a lot more screaming in the other video. <laughs> the other time I tried to record it. And it was just such a such a absolute fail in terms of like actually talking about the game. I thought... Yeah, let's let's try that again. You know, let, let's 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 at least manage to give some impression like we kind of know what we're doing. I mean, everybody knows that I have no idea what I'm doing anyway. I I, I hardly think that uh, any anybody's expecting me to suddenly turn up with uh, high high production value, absurdly well played content at this juncture. Right, let's see if we can actually... Oh, come on, come on, fire! Oh man, it's so difficult to move quickly on this version. Oh, right. Let's get... Uh, uh, oh, you... Oh, curse it all to the bells of hell. Oh, I'm probably going to snuff it here, I would imagine. Uh, right. Let's get out of here before any more of those things spawn. The spawn in this area on the C64 version, it turns out, is really weird. I mean, like, we've gone from, like, having all the flaming flower pot thing. Flower pots? All the fires that spit skulls to none of them. If you drop. Oh, you, ah! Ah! Uh -huh, uh -huh. They like them apples. Oh yeah! Oh yeah, yeah! <laughs> or maybe not, as the case may be. Let's see if this does the gatekeep for any, any damage. I better run over time now. I'm going to have to stick with my rubbish quality one where I stank at the game for the entire eight minutes. Have some of that, sir! And that! And there's more of that where that came from! Oh man! Oh, I don't know if you're supposed to shoot it in the head or it's uh, on the Mega Drive you, and every other version you have to shoot it in the head. But it's so small I feel like you ought to be able to... Oh come on! Ugh, we're not going to beat the boss guys. That's my prediction. We're done for. We've had it! We're brown bread! Your world championship title is no longer ours. If I hop down there, does that... See, normally if you come up here with your pants on the other versions, that's... Turn round, you... No! No! No joy, just death. Much death. But this... Although this isn't my favourite version, it's got the best soundtrack, that's for... Can you cheese this like go Ghosts and Goblins and kind of like sneak him onto the screen and hit him a few more times than you need to? Oh yeah! What a result! Fantastic! Right. And now it's going to disc load, so we'll call that a day. Uh, thanks for watching, and peace out.